Hello. I just uh, want to show you how I do my book scanning when the book is too large to fit onto a A4 flatbed scanner. This is my setup. I use my Vanguard Auto Pro 263 AT aluminium tripod, which has got the lovely adjustable arm position. The center column you can be put anywhere you like, up, down, any angles, you can swing it right round. Beautiful. I've set it up with the two legs against the table so you've extra support with a camera hanging right over the edge. On the tripod I've got my Manfrotto 498RC2 MIDI ball head which is fully adjustable in that way up and down left to right completely adjustable and very compact it's very handy. As you see on the end of the ball head I've got my Fujifilm Finepix HS50 EXR bridge camera which is very good because it's got this nice screen that you can roll around in the position so when I'm sitting down I can see it easily I've set the camera up for ISO 100 white balance I'll put it as incandescent which I find is gives a nice white uh, colour to the page and the uh, compensation I'll put as plus 2.3 so now, uh, as I should show you now the uh, setup, I'll switch on the lights. I've got two LED lights, I take about two watts of power, but they're bright enough just to illum illuminate the edge of this page to stop getting that horrible shadow on the edge. I've also got a angle poles type lamp, which is only 60 watt pearl bulb to give general coverage on the page of light. Also, I've got here, I put on four clamps onto this little ruler so you can put it on the edge of this book and put it down and you can just keep the page from uh, furring, furring up at the edge no, curling up at the edge and this is a setup also on the Fujifilm I've got the JJC remote shutter remember if you buy that you must have the adapter to suit the HS50 because a normal uh, adapter will not work. Right, I'll now put this camera. I'm filming this with the Panasonic Lumix TZ20 compact camera, which I always carry with me in my top pocket. And uh, even though I haven't got my other camera, this one's always with me. All right, just to check the position of it. Yep. Oh, before I go further, I will show you how I set up the book. So I just switch on the camera, Fujifilm, you can see, you can see the uh, picture there, what you do is get the book, line it up, I will now just adjust the zoom in to get the page as big as I can, like that. Also before this I've adjusted the ball head so as the picture is square, completely square on the page by adjusting it. If one end is a bit smaller, smaller than the other, you can just move the ball head around and get it to line up square. As you can see, it's nicely square all around the edge on the page. So that is now square on there. I'll now put the uh, my little ruler on there to keep the curling of the page down. I'll put this back onto the tripod which happens to be a Jessup's TP320, which I got many, many years ago. So it's, it's done its job well, but now I use the Vanguard Auto Pro 263 because of the versatility of the center column. Right, just click that back into position. All right, just adjust the uh, angle, that should be about right. Right, I'll show you how I go about it now. So I've done the first page, check that uh, it's in position, and with the remote, Make sure I switch the remote on. Yes, remote's on. Take the first picture. Now, obviously, you're going to take that one the other side. You need to pull this out and put it down the other way around. Make sure you line it up. In fact, that needs to be for taking out a bit more because the height's slightly higher up. Is that right? Again, that goes on to the edge. Like so. Stop the curling up. And with these, make sure these lights here are on there because you take away you get the shadow. 
make sure they are into there and give it a nice picture. Another picture? Perfect. If need be, I've got a selection of different size books here, you can use anything else. So if necessary you can put these under the edge edge of the book, either side, that side or this side. So as keeps the page as level as possible. You don't want to get completely level, but as I like the page is quite I've cheated by having it to about a similar size each side. So once you've done that one, you then turn it around, and you then turn it around the other side. Line it up again. Like that. Put the uh, that onto there. Make sure it's all nice and smooth and that's in the right position. Check on the book, it's square, yes. Again, next picture. And go like that. Obviously, I normally have go through a book like this, and I might I've actually taken about 60 pictures, 60 pages of pictures of these. It might be the next page, might be up here somewhere, it might be that one. So you get that in lined up, make sure it's still lined up. Put the uh, that onto the edge of that. This is perfect. And again, take the next picture. And that's how easy it is. Do it very quickly with minimum equipment. And uh, that is it. And this is the book I'm actually going to see on there. It's Country Life 1960, Volume 1, I've been doing, which is lent to me by a friend of mine. And uh, when I mark it up, I just put slips of paper in, thin slips of paper just to mark the pages so you don't turn pages over or anything like that. No, you talk, that's a no no. That's it. Uh, I, just, uh, I just hope you enjoyed my little view and uh, I hope to do another one very soon. Thank you for now. Bye bye. On it. I'm using two LED low wattage lamps at the side of me. Uh, my cat Tina is trying to help. And how I set the table up is on the end here I've got just a plastic ruler with four clamps on it. it gives a bit of weight and that just helps keep the end of the uh, book down. Tina, down again. Down again.